jets were flying overhead and it was cloudy that day, that Thursday, and you couldn't see anything, but you just hear the roar, just like, <sighs> right? And then like, Rawr, boom. He was going to wake up early to get to set for his acting job, but plans quickly changed for Istan Rosomni, a Canadian from Winnipeg who lived in Toronto and last in Montreal before moving to Kiev 15 years ago. Instead, he woke up to a call from his cousin in Toronto, telling him to leave Ukraine, that war has broken out in the place he calls home. After waiting for traffic jams to calm, Razumni locked his front door for what he hopes is not the last time. Got into his vehicle and drove to a safer location, helping others along the way. At, at, at one minute when I was locking the door, I just, I just threw, some stick, I, I threw some stuff together in, a, in an overnight bag and uh, all my documents. So if they do get into my apartment, nobody will see a trace of any of my ID. So I got all that stuff together. I took the essentials. I got like, you know, four or five t-shirts, a couple of carry-on underwear. Literally everything's in one bag. I've been wearing the same clothes. And uh, it was just kind of, kind of just panic-ish, numbness, stress. And just for a second, I just thought, this might be the last time that I'm going to be here. Click and out the door. As he and others left Kiev, they had space for more in their cars. Deciding to fill that room, he helped two young girls while their mothers were in another vehicle, getting them to safety near the Romanian border, taking them 21 hours to get there. And having this as a, as a childhood experience, I mean, my childhood experiences were going to summer camp, you know, and uh, their, their childhood experiences, uh, running away from bombs, Razumni is glad the children he drove are safe, saying he would do it again, but now it's too dangerous to drive private vehicles on the highway anymore. He says he is still helping in any way that he can, trying to set up Zoom calls with a Montreal trauma surgeon willing to do telemedicine for bombing victims. Whatever I can do right now, I mean, I can't, I can't pick up a rifle and shoot because I'd basically be, be neat. I don't have any, any, any training, so uh, that's sort of the question. So at this point... I'm just doing what I can. He says Canada and the world need to be even tougher on Russia, that their people need to understand what's really going on and what Vladimir Putin has done. It's not about me. It's about all the, it's about all the families. It's about all the kids. It's about uh, everybody just having a life where they can smile and not, and not cry. In Montreal, Pamela Pagano, City News.